Hi, it's Tony at Casa Esmeralda. Uh, I just wanted to tell uh, what happened today. is uh, November 27th, 2018, so Tuesday. And the call attractor, uh, Fiat 352C, is in my house. It's, in my, it's not in my house, it's in my garage. So I guess a garage is part of your house, right? But it's in my house, in my garage. I cleaned out my garage, which is a nice blessing because it's been a year since I cleaned out the garage. You know, it's, the garage is like something that you, you kind of, you put up, oh, I'll clean it, I'll clean it, I'll clean it. But it's, a, it's supposed to be done in like September or October, right? So then you can store firewood. And then I don't have a lot of things, but there was like cardboard and and like uh, all of tarps and things like for harvesting and plastic and just you know all this stuff and it was like a big pile sitting there and it was like because I I used to burn a lot of cardboard anyway so the crawler tractors at my house I'm I'm very happy today um, it was uh, a friend of mine uh, Antonio who also helped me with the doors if you've seen my other videos. He helped me get the doors on for my fireplace here so and I just I just put the fireplace on about uh, 15 minutes ago 15 20 yeah it's a good 15 minutes ago so I still have my uh, military uh, coveralls on which are great these are new ones uh, they were given to me so it's going good and it'll you know like it'll get in about an hour it'll, it'll get up all into this mass mound of rock here and then this will be warm all night and I put some wood pellets in there too this is a shovel or two of some wood pellets and uh, it'll get warm in here so right now on my ink bird I'm looking at it it says 18.9 degrees Celsius I, uh, I put the solar heating on it was nice but what happened was, is that when I was cleaning out the garage, uh, I put the outside lights on and for some reason there was a power out. And I tried like four times in an hour or something to get the power on because I'm connected to the grid. Like if you have a grid tie, as I said before, if you have a grid tie and you're connected and the power company, cause it's stormy out. And this is the thing here. They decide to shut off your power so, because uh, I was out for the day, so I didn't flick my switch to charge my batteries, right? So my batteries are kind of on the trickle low right now. So uh, it's still, it will run my large box, my electric box heater here, which is still running the electricity in my house. But as you can see today, my lighting's not good. So the only thing that I'm using it right now is my computer, uh, this 60, volt light that's above me the fan and the box heater and so that's about maybe 200 watts 150 200 watts there so the, the batteries my batteries can handle that my batteries maybe possibly can handle up to uh, 800 or something 800 watts right but if I use it all like drain it it'll it'll dump out anyway so I just kind of happy right now uh, after one month and sitting here by the fire and uh, they're gonna take a nice hot bath after this when this house warms up a bit because it got kind of cold. I don't have I don't have insulation here in my house, so that's the thing. Is that when my house gets to about six or eight degrees Celsius, and it's ten degrees Celsius outside, I don't win here. But the summertime, like six months a year, about four and a half, I sleep outside really in a in a army hammock. Which is okay, you know, because it, it doesn't bog me or anything. And then the other, well, the winters here, like in the Mediterranean, are very short. It's only like about two, three months maximum. I would say two months are, are cold. Like you'll get down to one minus, you'll have like, I, I've lived here for over two years, two and a half years now. And it's been uh, about two days of snow and it, it comes and then all of a sudden the afternoon the sunshine comes out and all the snow melts kind of and the next day it'll kind of snow again or the day after 
So the snow doesn't last here for more than like a week at the most. So it's okay, you know. Boy, that fire is really going now. I got a whole mix of uh, carob wood today. I'm burning carob wood. I'm burning some Italian pine. So if you can hear the crackling in the background. And I think there's a few pieces of olive wood. So a real nice combination. Um, I had a log that I dragged up here from my back property over two years. It's been sitting in my garage for two years. It's teak. And if you, if you ever watched my video, early, early videos, like about two years ago, I was burning teak. Well, now I still have the log because I thought I was going to do it, use it or something, find somebody to sell it to. It's a nice piece of teak log because I have nice teak trees in my property. And possibly many, like hundreds of years ago, because uh, some of these trees are like a hundred year old trees, they're very big. Because um, the oceans, you know, like a 50 minute drive down, probably they use the, the teak off because there's not very many trees around here. But boy, oh boy, am I so happy right now because I've been pushing a wheelbarrow up my hill here. and uh, There's like a tractor road going down. And I've been pushing a wheelbarrow up that hill for two years. Five cords of firewood. Five cords of firewood for two winters. And uh, so the last thing I have to do now is, is uh, on my Jeep, I have a trailer hitch. And uh, on, the, on the hitch there, I just have to drill two holes or go to like a metal shop in town or the blacksmith. He'd probably do it for a sack of oranges or something for my property. And uh, then I just attach the bolts because there's two bolts there on the tractor on the back and I can attach my regular uh, car because I do have a, a regular uh, uh, trailer. I have a trailer for my Jeep and that's a regular car. But I do have the farm. I have the O type of hitch too. And I thought I was going to use that. So yeah, it's in the garage. I managed to get it in and it was the rain just had started so it was raining for off and on for about 45 minutes to an hour so I managed to get all my working stuff and tools and everything back in the garage before they got really wet and then the last thing was the was the tractor so and I kind of drove it a little bit around here just just from because they dropped it the guy he dropped it out here on the main road so I had to drive it in here and then it was here and then I went back to my friend's place, uh, Antonio, who helped me uh, put the roof on my house too. And he did a little bit of mason work around here too with some stuff. Oh, with the, my pellet stove and that. So um, he's retired now, you know. Uh, he was actually in Bologna for a year. He wasn't doing too good. He's got some lung problems and, and I helped him uh, sort of stabilize his lungs a little bit now he's doing a lot better because when he came back here from Bologna in September uh, you know he was on the hospital medications but he wasn't doing a lot of the the uh, post hospital protocols and stuff there's a lot of herbs like ginger there's greenhouse herbs there's different types of teas there's pod de arco there's chaga um, there's you know the growing herb which is illegal in some countries right so you know you decide what to use but you know I gave him a good protocol and he's doing okay he's doing a lot better so I took the chainsaw uh, afterwards down to him and uh, we uh, cut firewood for uh, on my chainsaw for about a good hour hour and a half he's got a nice pile about four or five wheelbarrow pile there sitting in front of his house and he was really happy because he can't he can't really do that work anymore he's retired he's got sort of a lung problem still smokes and that so you know I was happy to help him out he was I was happy that he helped me out because the mechanic uh, they were cracking I think they cracked a deal together or something they wanted a hundred euros so about a hundred and thirty dollars American for uh, to tow my tractor less than 10 kilometers or eight and a half kilometers down this down the back road here to my house from the tractor shop, right? So I'm not too happy with the mechanic and stuff like that. Um, you know, like 
you know, we'll still t still talk to each other and everything like that. But I don't really appreciate being, you know. So his other friend, uh, you know, for 20 year olds actually put the tractor on one of it. He's got a car hauler, and he put the truck. He was nice enough to put the tractor on there. And I just said, oh, well, my family makes some. I have some relatives that make some nice wine in, in Austria. I'll give them a bottle or two of wine and and some firewood because that's okay. You know, that's things like I can't afford because I. I mostly live off the land here, and uh, you know my income is is not that great. But I have lots of food around, and the cost of of my house here is is very little compared to some other places in this world. So, um, yeah. So the dogs are sleeping. I don't want to wake them up. You know they're so cute. And Bruno, uh, where's Bruno? Yeah, Bruno's over there. He's he's uh. He's on his uh, bed, and Giuseppe's over there, and they're sleeping. They're they're kind of happy because they were outside all day, sort of in the cold now. Trying to keep them outside mostly in the daytime, so they get their winter coats. And my goats are doing pretty good too. You know, uh, they're happy. Uh, the goats have kind of stabilized themselves. I was kind of a little bit frightened to sort of let them out. But they sort of become like, sort of pet, sort of pets too, a little bit around here. So uh, you know, I was kind of scared. Like when I first got um the one uh, Pippi, the female with the horns, she'd jump up on my glass door here or something, and I'd be like, "Don't break my glass," you know. I was like, be frightened to hell because you know then I have to get new glass and things like that. But uh, she stopped doing that. And uh, I don't know. I just throw some food out on the lawn or something like that, and they kind of go there because they like the carob bean. And uh, my chickens are doing okay. And I think they're a lot happier since it's two less chickens now. Uh, I ate the chicken soup tonight, so that I still I'm going to be eating chicken soup all week. But that's fine, you know. I I like eating chicken soup. I I've been eating chicken soup now for two months. And then I had some pasta, which is okay. I didn't make my own pasta because, you know, I'm just busy working around the day. If I have some extra hour or free time or something, yeah, I like to make my own pasta. For about all summer, actually, I was making my own pasta. Because when you have a garden and stuff like that, you know, and it's just a lot easier. But now, winter time, the days get shorter, you know, you have stuff to do in the morning and then chop a little bit of firewood, stuff like that. And then getting my firewood up to the house now, once when I get the trailer on the tractor, I can easily haul, you know, 200 kilos of firewood in the trailer in the back. So, you know, it'll just be one pull. I'll just go down there and I'll just pull it up here and I'll unload it. It won't be like two, three day job to get, you know, a whole or a four day job actually to get one quart of firewood up to my house. And then after that, I'd be like really tired and everything. So, yeah, I'm just really happy that my tractor is here now and that I drove it and it's working. Maybe it needs a little work here and there, but it's got a good motor in it. The transmission works fine. And it's an old tractor, so it's all old school. And that works really good. I'm just looking here at my fireplace. So it's really going. Okay, so this is Tony at Casa Esmeralda. Um, I hope you like my videos. If you like my videos, please hit that like button below. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Uh, kind of excuse me about the lighting today, but with the storm and the power flickering in and out, uh, I'm kind of on trickle battery right now, so. I wish I had better lighting and could put my IKEA lighting on the back here, but um, I don't think that will work unless I want to pay the power company, which I don't really. So I'm interested to see my power my power bill next month. I I will show you with a box heater with a a standard uh, thousand two thousand and two thousand watt heater going so. 
Okay, so take care. Uh, please do like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.